Gilbert Gottfried has uh, died. He passed away. Uh, I just got the news today. Uh, oddly enough, I got it on Twitter from George Costanza. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. Jason Alexander posted the first tweet anyone saw was from Jason Alexander saying that, yeah, he uh, he had died, 67 years old, known for his shrill voice. Isn't that, uh, don't you awful. fucking just hate? Life of comedy. Ah. Oh. Known for the same thing Fran Drescher is going to be known for. Yeah, yeah. His shrill voice. <laughs> How about what that shrill voice was saying was fucking hilariously funny at George any Carlin, given moment. known for his beard. Right, right. Yeah, that <laughs> might as well do that. You might as well. But uh, it doesn't matter what these assholes say. We all know. Gilbert was just such a funny motherfucker. I swear to you, uh, I have never laughed that hard watching a comic uh, do his stand-up. We were at... Um, the uh, comedy seller, and he's up just destroying, and it was nonstop. Like, just when you tried to get a breath, he fucking said something else, and it was always so heinous. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. like, he would talk about dying kids and sh yeah. shit, and baby you'd be, jizz. Yeah. yeah, drinking baby jizz, baby yeah. jizz. You'd just be laughing your ass off, and uh, so funny. And then, of course, it. When you're just sitting talking to him, yeah. very soft spoken, oh, yeah. introverted, and introverted, and you know a little odd and eclectic. Drinks uh, Pepsi doesn't drink baby jizz. No, no, <laughs> no baby jizz. <laughs> and it was just so. Uh, I, I honestly feel um, so lucky to have known him for as many years as I did, and known him on a level uh, as a friend. The guy was was genuinely um, a friend of mine, and and. Uh, it, it was just, uh, I heard that and was like, ah, fuck, man. Yeah. Past couple of years can just yeah. fuck off. Did they just say what it was? Off. What what? Uh, he was diagnosed with cancer back in 2020. Oh, okay. Um, I think it was October, uh, September or October of 2020. Uh, and he actually put out a, a TikTok clip <laughs> where it, it said like, the text on it was, my doctor just told me I have cancer. And he's laughing and lights are flashing. <laughs> and he's just like, oh, oh, in the camera. It was like, everyone thought he was goofing. Yeah. Everyone just thought he was oh, making a no. joke. He's like, Gilbert, I don't know what to believe with you yeah. and this. So he, he had had cancer for almost a couple of years now. Uh, and, um, you know, he, he didn't he didn't dwell on it. He never showed it. He's still fucking toured. Yeah. Uh, and he never wanted to be that, you know, sad sack guy. Yeah. And uh, he didn't. He wasn't. He's, he's you know, remembered. You don't have to remember sick Gilbert yeah. or anything like that. You just remember Gilbert being the funniest motherfucker. He was always kind of odd looking yeah. with his big head and skinny neck. So I don't think you knew In maybe case, he was right? He would do shows dying. that carried that, like, dolly like he was about to get on a plane. Yeah, JFK. yeah, yeah. He would take the bus yeah. uh, to gigs, uh, far away gigs, yeah. too, sometimes. Yeah. You know, he'd just sit on a fucking Greyhound bus <laughs> and uh, and go to the gigs to save money, I guess. I don't yeah. know. Uh, but just a, a genuinely funny guy. His podcast, the uh, Gilbert Gottfried Super Colossal Podcast, was just brilliant. It was geared toward just me, just people yeah, like you, me, yeah. fucking boomers who love old television, classic horror movies, sci-fi. Yeah. I grew up on that, and you know, a lot of the conversations I've had with Gilbert over the years have been about television and mm -hmm. movies and celebrities that have been long forgotten, and you know, the people that you look at on TV and go, who's that guy? What's his name? And uh, it, it was just always so much fun because he would he would just make it funny. Yeah. He'd, he'd, he'd talk about what has-beens they were yeah. or how horrible they were. But it was all like, yeah, there it is. That's <laughs> cancer. I mean, he's too silly. That's a friend? dang bang. <laughs> like, that's him announcing yeah. he has cancer. No one really knew. <laughs> Take him seriously. Well, it's like Colin Quinn for pretending the heart attack. That he yeah, his make-believe uh, coronary there. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but but I, I'm glad we, we have that... Uh, it wasn't this long thing. And uh, Norm did the same thing, really, yeah. when you think about it. He kept it quiet. He went on around about his business. And we have 
these great memories of Norm Macdonald and and his comedy and not sitting there going, oh, remember how awful that was the last yeah. few years of his life or so. Um, and that and that's kind of good. Saget. He yeah. slid on his bed. He hit a padded headboard. Yeah. Apparently, his head got bashed <laughs> apart, and <laughs> and that you know, and he was done. Yeah. Uh, so you know, it, it, there's something to be said. Um, but Gilbert will absolutely be missed. He, especially on on this show. Uh, there, there's a video floating around out there. If you, uh, if you feel like you want to watch it, uh, it's myself, uh, Gilbert and Artie Lang sitting here in the studio uh, for a show. And I mean, one of the funniest yeah. fucking shows that has ever happened here at Compound Media. Uh, so funny, just such a cool, I do that all the time. <laughs> Get the <laughs> right <laughs> uh, And then Twitter, of course, is now just booming with people posting their pictures with Gilbert Gottfried, uh, Gilbert, did take a lot of pictures with people. And that seems to be the thing you do now. It's like, oh, someone died. Let me get a like picture. A humble brag. Let me thing. find my pics <laughs> with them. Because, you know, everyone carries around literally 10,000 yeah. pictures with them that they've had over the course of the years. So you'll be like, oh, who died? Let me see. Gilbert, yeah. Godfrey, Going there's one. I got one. Let me post that fucker. That's what they do. They love having a picture with yeah. the dead guy. Uh, yeah. So that's that's going to be what you see uh, happening uh, for the next, I don't know, it's few like, days. It's uh, like Saget, though. Like, you know, so I I remember probably one of the first times I saw Gilbert in a movie was probably Problem Child 1. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which was like, he was like the orphanage owner. He was like awesome. You know, great role. He was just miserable. He's trying to unload this shitty kid to the nuns. That's He's right. like selling him like a used car. He's like upselling this kid. Yeah. He's, he's a total <laughs> fucking nightmare. And... Uh, I showed that movie to my kids, and then so my daughter, she's working at Governor's now at the comedy club, and she um, she saw Gilbert on stage, and afterwards yeah. she's like, he's not like he was in the movie because she doesn't know how filled he was. It's like sagging that right. way. You think he's kind of this, you know, Aflac or this problem child cartoon character and then he's yeah, on stage yeah. she's like he's talking about drinking baby jizz and I was like oh yeah he's nothing like his movie characters he's pretty raunchy no that's just stage. it he had got such a reputation between the um the the Aflac duck yeah. thing and getting in trouble for the tsunami joke right. the, and then um yeah his his uh, stand up is incredibly um uh, Offensive, offensive to yeah. some people. Uh, Howard Stern, by the way, and I, I bring this up because I know damn well tomorrow Howard's going to get on his show mm -hmm. and start waxing fantastic about Gilbert, how awesome and great talent and amazing. Mm -hmm. The bottom, bottom line is Howard banned uh, really? Gilbert from his show for years now. Uh, he didn't want anybody who had done uh, racial humor on his show anymore. They literally wow. took... Some of the funniest, I, I, and this is, if you're a Stern fan and you argue this, you're not a fucking Stern yeah. fan. Some of the funniest fucking shows ever, ever on Howard was with yeah. Gilbert. It was uh, a show, I recall my work van and I drive up to a job site and it's fucking seven o'clock in the morning yeah. and I'm supposed to get, get out, out of the car, car and you're like, one more minute. Working. Yeah. And sometimes I'd have to. I'd be like, oh, shit. And I'd just crank the radio up loud oh, yeah. and try to you know, spend more time at the truck prepping yeah, yeah. things. But when Gilbert was on, I did not leave the fucking cab yeah. of the truck because it was nonstop funny. Yeah. And, and, and he, Howard knows that, knew that at the time, knows it now. And he was told by his people that brainwashed yeah. him uh, not to have Gilbert on anymore. To to purge every bit of Gilbert material, wow. they used to do the Marge shot, yeah, yeah, with Billy West, and and uh, it was it was like racial humor was hilariously funny, yeah. and they did it well, and uh, yeah, that became something I I can't do that. I, I got my Hollywood friends, Robin, <laughs> and um, so he'll talk about what a great guy he is. Meanwhile, I've had discussions with Gilbert where yeah, it's like, oh yeah, he, he doesn't show. want any part of me anymore, anything like that. I had the uh, I, I had the uh, honor and pleasure of actually visiting Gilbert at his house. Something I never did for Opie, by the way. Never did for Opie. You had an open invite. I don't know why. And I know open invite. <laughs> never came to my house. And uh, I, I got to tell you, as a Family Guy, 
as a family yeah. man, you would not think it was the same guy you saw really? on stage. He, his son and daughter and his wife adored the guy. Uh, he adored his family. Yeah. Uh, treated him like gold. It was uh, it was so funny in the house mm. too. The kids have like his <laughs> sense so, of humor, yeah. but their own <laughs> their their own people. Yeah, and his wife is just a sweetheart. And uh, it was such a like you went in there, and it was a before anyone said anything. It was a good vibe. Oh, that's nice. Like you just knew that was a fun. Mm. Family and and uh, Gilbert posted a lot of things with his kids and his his wife and how much fun they had. They did funny things. They put together little uh, video skits and stuff. And, and and he you know he brought that kind of humor that was appropriate for his mm. kids. And his kids knew who yeah, he was right. too. Knew what he did. Yeah. But he brought the kind of humor that was appropriate for his kids to his kids. And he involved them. They involved him in their videos that they would make. And it just was a great um a, a, a great vibe, like I said, in the house of of like true family love. And and it was uh it was really awesome to see. And and I'm happy to know that uh Gilbert had that. Hmm. Uh, the whole time, you know, in the past couple of years that he's been sick, uh, he had that. So um, awesome. And and Gilbert, uh, I'm talking to you. This broadcast does go to heaven. <laughs> it does he it. Not, where he will not be. So I don't know if he'll ever hear it. Maybe someone will send him a message. No, he, uh, rest in peace, my uh, my friend, Gilbert Gottfried.